good morning all the students um, we are going to start our next chapter chapter number 19 extraction of metals extraction mean to obtain metal from their metal compounds now the metal compounds are so many but those metal compounds from which metal can be extracted economically are called ores there are two terms used in this connection uh, one is called uh, mineral and second is called ores minerals are those chemical compounds from which metals can't be extracted economically but ores are concentrated form of minerals from which metals can be extracted quite easily for example for example if we look at uh, say uh, zinc metal zinc now there are so many different compounds of zinc metals are that is zinc oxide zinc carbonate zinc sulfate so many but the most important ore from which zinc can be extracted quite uh, easily is zinc blend is zinc blend zinc blend that is zinc sulfide that is zinc sulfide now these are the compounds from where zinc cannot be extracted economically easily but zinc sulfide is a substance chemical compound of zinc from which zinc can be extracted economically this is called zinc ore these are called zinc compounds zinc minerals this is the uh, basic difference now uh, extraction means we want to extract metal from the metal ores but before going to the extraction the most important thing is which we have to consider that is the reactivity series of the metal that reactivity series gives us uh, different information that which method we have to follow for the extraction of particular matter from its ore now uh, you all uh, you have already learned in the previous chapter the reactivity series for example is potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron tin lead hydrogen copper mercury silver gold and platinum and platinum this is this is the reactivity series now the reactivity series tells about the most reactive metal have most stable compounds and less reactive metals have less stable compounds now the method to extract the metal from their ores depends upon the stability of compounds of all these metals we know that up till aluminium up till aluminium all the compounds of these metals reactive metals potassium sodium calcium magnesium and aluminium also these are maximum stable and cannot be obtained matter from the their compounds quite easily that's why to extract all these reactive metals only one method is used which is called as electrolysis electrolysis of molten ores this is the only method by which these reactor metals can be obtained because 
these metals are too much reactive their reduction potentials are very low they cannot be reduced quite easily that's why the normal radio secondary combat cannot be used to extract all these metals only the most powerful process which is electrolysis that can reduce all these metal ions into the metallic form that's why only electrolysis method is used in this connection now from zinc to copper from zinc to copper all these metals are neither too much reactive and neither too much least reactive these are the intermediates that's why all these metals are extracted from their ores using carbon as a reducing carbon as a reducing agent carbon as a reducing agent because the carbon has sufficient power to reduce all this because their reduction potential is little bit high as compared to all these reactive metals rest of these metals rest of these metals these are the least reactive metals as you know these metal don't react with cold water with steam with dilute acids that's why their reduction potential is very high very high so these can only be reduced by simple heating by simple heating by simple heating now reactivity of all these metals explain us guide us which method we have to select for the extraction of metals first of all this is the most important most important one thing which can be used to check either a carbon can reduce a metal compound a metal ion or not we can perform a simple experiment that experiment is that experiment is for example if we take a block of carbon pure carbon coal block of pure carbon here and engrave from the surface scratch scratch some of the carbon and then if we place a metal core here and by providing flame strong flame from a burning source from a burning source if we provide a strong flame to it then this will decide if a metal is obtained then the metal is less reactive that will create a shiny bead over the carbon block and that will be the indication that metal is extracted from the compound and if we have a metal core here we provide a strong flame and on providing too much high temperature making this whole assembly dead hot still we don't see any bright bead here of metal it means that this is the compound of a very reactive metal that is not reduced by this carbon block this is the important this tells us about the reactivity of metal and also guide us which method of extraction we have to select for the particular metal now for the extraction of metal there are different steps um, which are involved the first step towards the extraction process that is number one mining mining look if this is a soil there are so many layers and by the geological survey it becomes very clear that which part of the soil contain which part of the metal compounds the first thing is mining just like coal mining we mined we start digging and approach to the 
required surface from where we get the soil. Now, the soil that will contain metal compound that will compound metal compound along with soil along with sand along with other impurities impurities this is the first step whenever we want to install a factory for the extraction of particular metal where the metal compounds are present in the soil we install that factory very close to that area so that the expenditure of transportation should be minimized this is the most important for example just like in pakistan uh, in Balochistan, Sandik project is there, Rekodik project, project is there, so many companies are uh, present in Balochistan and they are uh, first mining and then they are transporting those uh, minerals to the uh, factory area nearby where they start processing there. Now, the second step involved in this case is Second step is concentrating ore. Concentrating ores. As I have already explained that mineral contain so many other substances, sand, soil, which are undesired. That's why before starting the extraction process this is economical to remove all those undesired substances and the we should get ore from which the maximum metal uh, we can get applying minimum uh, uh, expenditure now for the concentration process we use so many methods some of the methods are physical and some of the methods are chemical in in, in, in physical methods in physical for example if we have a mixture of uh, iron metal compounds with other uh, other impurities then just only using a strong magnet by moving magnet very uh, through the uh, mineral we can get metal ore separated from the other impurities those impurities will be eliminated and the concentration means uh, to remove the impurities and to get the metals in this connection for example if we have a copper ore if we have uh, say one ton one ton of copper we will get ore 0 0.016 ton copper ore and then if we will get copper we will get copper very less amount and that is equal to 0 0.004 kg 0 .04, 0 .004, 0 0.004 tons of pure copper. Now, you can compare all these values. This is mineral with all impurities. This is the quantity when ore is concentrated. And then from that concentrated ore, this is the quantity of pure metal we obtain. You can compare all these. Rest of the substances are all impurities which, which are removed by certain methods. Now, the methods to remove the impurities are method to remove the most common method used is method to concentrate 
और इस फ्रॉड पोलोटेशन मेथड पोलोटेशन मेथड फ्रॉड फ्लोटेशन मेथड द सिंपल मेथड टू कंसेंट्रेट द ओट हाउ वी परफॉर्म दिस वी टेक अकर हाफ फेल विद वॉटर एंड देन एड एडिकेट क्वांटिटी ऑफ एनी ऑयल एनी ऑयल दैट ड्यू टू द लेस डेंसिटी ऑयल विल रिमेन फ्लोटिंग ऑन द वॉटर दिस इज वॉटर and this is layer of oil now there is a source to blow air through this mixture from this side air is blown now whenever we will put mineral into it and start blowing from here what will happen all the metal ore Will will catch by oil, and rest of the impurities will not be caught by oil. They will settle down here. नीचे बैठ जाएंगे यहाँ पे impurities यहाँ पे नीचे नीचे बैठ जाएंगी और बार बार हम इसकी blowing करते रहेंगे करते रहेंगे will लाकर ये एक emulsion सा बनेगा emulsion सा बनने के बाद यहाँ पे froth बनना शुरू होगी froth इसको हमने एक बड़े बाउल में रखा हुआ है ये फ्रॉथ ओवरफ्लो करके इसमें कलेक्ट होना शुरू हो जाए एज द फ्रॉथ विल कम ऑटोमेटिकली ऑल द मेटल पार्टिकल्स एंड ट्रैप्ड इन ऑयल विल कम्स आउट ऑफ दिस स्पीकर एंड विल बी कलेक्टेड इन दिस आउटर कंटेनर जब ये सारा परफॉर्म हो जाए हमें ये कंफर्म हो जाए कि जितना भी यहां पे मेटल के पार्टिकल वो सारे के सारे आउट हो गए हैं फिर इस आउटर वॉल को हम कलेक्ट कर लेते हैं यहां पे फ्रॉथ होती है और उस फ्रॉथ में वो तमाम के तमाम मेटल के पार्टिकल्स कंपाउंड के मौजूद होते हैं जिनको हमने फ्रॉथ के साथ सेपरेट किया है रेस्ट ऑफ द मेटीरियल इज डिस्कार्ड नाउ बाई फ्लैशिंग इट फ्लैशिंग With water, whole of this froth can be eliminated, and we will get at the bottom pure particles of metal ore. Metal ore, all this. Now, this metal ore is now ready for the next process. Either can be performed electrolysis, or can be. Uh, uh, reduced by as uh, using carbon as a reducing agent i think uh, all of you uh, will have some about clear cut idea if there is any question you can ask thank you very much stay blessed